Uh, my name is Quest, and this is my review of the movie Spy, directed by Paul Feig, starring Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, and Rose Byrne. Melissa McCarthy plays a CIA analyst who works with Jude Law's super spy, and I, he's essentially playing uh, in a minor role, or a smaller role in this film, and he's essentially playing like a live-action Sterling Archer. I don't know if any of you have watched Archer, you should, it's, it's hilarious, but he's essentially playing a less profane, slightly more competent uh, Sterling Archer in the movie but still is oblivious and um, he essentially can't do his job without Melissa McCarthy doing hers uh, but throughout the uh, in the beginning of the movie his identity becomes compromised for the op that they're on so none of the active field agents can go out and uh, do the mission which forces Melissa McCarthy to go from behind the desk into the field and because obviously she is a larger lady, they they play with that, but not in like a mean way. But they play with with the, with the fact that her like secret identities and covers are not as sexy as like what Jude Law has. Like she's not like some art dealer or something like that. She she totally is like some crazy cat lady <laughs> who has a picture of like all her fourteen cats in her wallet, or some uh, some. A, 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 uh, a homemaker who is just basically tired of her life and they gave her all these really really sad identities which I guess makes sense because you would buy that this is this is if you were someone who was interacting with this spy you would buy that she is this person who has no life I guess that sounds weird and normally Ms. McCarthy sort of she, she likes to play this sort of very um, aggressive and angry character and that normally doesn't work for me and, and they make it really work in this film I like the way that it was it was factored into the story and you know her sort of like tough persona and, and very uh, violent and aggressive side came out and it was used really well and normally when you're watching like a comedy film you don't expect for that kind of thing you just like expect a story to happen and then the laughs eventually come through but also just sorry real quick I, Jason Statham in this movie is so funny. Like I've seen him in like one other comedy, which was uh, like the English remake of Mean Machine, and he was sort of like very functional in that. He wasn't trying to be funny, but it was funny because of what happened around him. In this movie, Jason Statham, while I guess parodying his own tough guy image, is hilarious. Like he just he comes up with all these stories of things that like. A rational person would understand has never happened, but he's still telling you that he's done these things, which are impossible. And uh, honestly, he, I, th I think he steals the movie. Honestly, he's he's that good uh, in in this comedic role. Um, and I really like the chemistry between Les McCarthy and Jason Statham. It's it's you wouldn't have expected it to be, but it's really really good. Uh, Rose Byrne, uh, who is I guess you could say a, a dependable and solid comedy performer, is really good in this too. Um, she doesn't really have that much to do, she just sort of plays the stuck-up, uh, bitchy character. Which, and she does that really well. I mean, she doesn't really have too many emotional highs and lows, but she does what she's asked to do. Um, a bit underutilized, I suppose, but still pretty good. Not, not a complaint in any, any way, shape, or form. Um, Peter <laughs> Sarah Finnewix is in this movie, and honestly for me I think he steals the movie I'm not between him and Statham I'm not really sure who steals the movie I have to today I might feel different tomorrow I know I did I did yesterday but today I have to give it to um, Jason Statham uh, he I think was the, the the best part of this movie now this film uh, when I really said think about it does remind me it's like a, uh, a cross between the other guys and 21 Jump Street there are elements of both that really come together really well in this film and um, it, I think it, it more strongly reminds me of uh, of 21 Jump Street or the Jump Street series uh, except that I guess you could say uh, Melissa McCarthy plays both of the roles in that she is the, the bigger woman or the bigger person uh, but she's also really smart and she has all the, uh, the physical uh, athleticism and, and, and attributes that she needs to succeed in the field um, and it, 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 it does work really well for the film. So Spy is a hilarious movie. I, it had me in tears several times in the cinema. And you should definitely go see it. Alright, so find my social media links down below, right around the gut area. I'm big and I know it, it's fine. And uh, hit me up on any of those. So let me know what you thought of this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, or don't. I prefer you did, but if you don't want to, that's cool too. Um, and yeah, just hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Sorry, not Facebook.